Chained up in a basement and treated like an animal, a 13-year-old girl is telling police in Ohio of her shocking ordeal. Good evening. It tops our news at 6. Two men in Toledo arrested on charges. They held this girl prisoner for up to a year. And apparently this was not random. The two men in question are members of her family. Can you believe that? This case is unfolding just south of the Michigan-Ohio border in Toledo. Our Jason Colthorpe is live with the chilling account the girl is giving investigators. Good evening, Jason. Good evening, Carmen, Devin. When police went into this house, they found leg irons. We're understanding that's what happened at this hour. And also this this 12 year old girl at the time, now 13, clearly terrorized given these charges that are laid out against these two men in prison, like you said, but not just that shackled, chained and of course not by strangers, but by family. The two men, 27 year old Esten Saboro and 53 year old Timothy Saboro were arrested and charged this morning in Toledo as the shocking details emerged. The criminal complaint says a now 13 year old girl shackled to a support beam in the basement. I try to hold the cops says like, oh, what's going on here? Just give me a nice little shrug or a nice little move and just go back in the house. Like I never, I never thought him or anybody do something like that. I never thought. Police say they fed her spoiled and old scraps of food and forced her to defecate in a bucket. And this lasted as long as a year. The girl tells police the two men are her stepfather and stepbrother. When we didn't see her anymore, we just figured she must have gone to her other parent or something. They are charged with torture and cruelly abusing a child and kidnapping to terrorize or inflict serious physical harm. Police also say they were trying to make a run for it when they showed up, trying to get away in a van. Those two men are being held with $500,000 bond. Carmen. Jason, Devin. any word on how she was able to get away? She was able to get away, Carmen. We don't know exactly how, but uh, there are some reports that she wasn't chained up the entire year, mm -hmm. but at different times as punishment. So it could be perhaps it was one of those times where she wasn't. She was able to get out anyway and get to a neighbor's house and let them know what was going on. But I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more in the coming days about just what happened in that That's home, right. Carmen. Still early in the investigation. All right, I'm Jason Colthorpe reporting for us live.